And only on two tonight, a cautionary tale for parents. It's another example of the dangers of children interacting with strangers on social media. One father came home to find a shirtless man hiding in a closet in his home. That stranger says he was there to meet a 12-year-old girl. The father trusted only our Roseanne Aragon to tell this story to warn other parents. Roseanne? That's right. Unfortunately, I spoke with Crime Stoppers officials as well, and they say that they see this kind of situation every single day. That father tells me the man was talking to his daughter through Facebook and Instagram. She was only 12, and investigators say that man knew. Knowing this guy could have actually did something to my daughter, and then I had another daughter in my home. It really affected, affected my, me and my family. Joe, the father who didn't want to show his face, said he was mortified. Joe was about to change his clothes when he found a man hiding in the closet shirtless. I was on the phone with 911. Houston police say that man was 42-year-old Christopher Todd Leonard, who investigators say was there to visit Joe's 12-year-old daughter. The man literally you know, brainwashed her. Joe's daughter told investigators that she met Leonard on public transportation one day. Leonard, she said, gave her his phone number, eventually connecting with her on social media. You got predators out here looking for your uh, kids every day. Joe said the two talked on Facebook and Instagram without his knowledge. On November 2nd, investigators say Leonard came to the home telling the 12-year-old he wanted to talk. Investigators say Leonard's messages demanded sex. Leonard is now charged with online solicitation of a minor. A warrant is out for his arrest. So parents, just watch out for these kids and their on his, on his cell phone and tablets. A parent's warning echoed by Crime Stoppers. Unfortunately, this is happening daily. Predators online grooming potential victims. They'll like a bunch of stuff on their social media and then they'll start direct messaging them. The whole purpose of predatory activity is they just want to get the student to trust them. Crime Stoppers advises parents to check their child's messages, apps, and even games. There are even apps to help parents keep a watchful eye. Um, my favorite one is Bark. Bark kind of monitors everything that's going on. As for Joe, he hopes this man is caught. These guys need to be a prosecutor to the max. Now, Crime Stoppers offers all of these resources, which you can find online, even a cyber safety course. They also mention several apps that can help parents. For that, you can head to our website, click to Houston.com. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.